I'm going to show you some of the basics on how to use a brand new app we have called Explain Everything EDU. So the Explain Everything EDU app is a whiteboard app. Um, it's an app that allows you to create your own um, just kind of a blank canvas to be able to add pretty much anything you want and be able to write on top of it. So I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm going to open up the app and I'm going to start off by creating a new project. Now, before we get started, um, it's important to note that I am using an Apple Pencil, and there's a difference between what you do with an Apple Pencil and what you do uh, using touch, using your fingers. Um, and so I'm going to try to point that out as we go along. So I'm going to start with a blank canvas. And um, you'll notice right off the bat, if you've used Promethean uh, Inspire before, it looks very similar. Uh, it's got a set of tools on it uh, and just kind of a big blank canvas to be able to do some things with. So I'm not going to cover every single part of the app. I'm just going to cover some of the things I think are uh, be enough to get you started uh, and playing around with it. So um, the first thing I want to point out is over here on the left, I have this little pencil tool. This is simply a writing tool that allows me to write. So if I tap on it, it gives me different color options and I can simply use my Apple Pencil and, um, and be able to write directly on my iPad. Um, this is what we are going to use um, with AirPlay to be able to AirPlay on your iPad screen and be able to walk around the room and be able to write on your tablet as opposed to writing on the board uh, like you've done in the past. So you can change colors, you can change sizes, um, you even have rulers and pencils if you don't like the marker and, and can adjust that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. Um, I also have a highlighter that allows me to highlight things just the way you would expect. Change colors and sizes and all that in there too. Um, I have an eraser tool that allows me to erase um, things that I've done. Um, I do have an undo tool down here at the bottom. That if I did something I need to undo, I can go ahead and do that. Um, I have a shape tool. Uh, shape tool allows me to choose different shapes that are built in. So I have squares, rounded rectangles, circles, and so on. And I simply can simply click and drag, and it will create um, that circle the way I want. Now, anytime I've added something to my um, page here, this little hand tool over here in the upper left-hand corner is what I need to be on to be able to move things around. Now, to move things around, I'm going to touch and tap them with my fingers, not my pencil. So I'm going to simply tap with my finger, and I can move this around, and I can rearrange it um, and do whatever. Um, I could do the same thing with things that I've drawn um, and be able to move these around too. Um, I can also pinch and zoom with my fingers to zoom in, to zoom out. Um, you really have essentially an infinite canvas here, so I can zoom in and out as, as big or small as I want. So if I run out of space, I can just pinch and zoom and move things over and then start doing more writing uh, over here off to the side and then pinch and zoom back out and then jump anywhere I need to just like that. So it's a really flexible tool. Um, another option that you're probably going to want to do is you're probably going to want to start adding some things to this. So um, I have a text option that I can simply tap and it'll give me a text box. It allows me to add text just like I would expect. Um, and then same as before, once I've added text, uh, I can move that text around also. So if I just type in some text um, and then tap, now I have text in there just like that. And same as before, if I tap on my hand, um, I can tap on that text and move it around uh, and rearrange it like so. Um, if I want to add some other things to my document, that's where this top button comes in. So um, by default, it allows me to insert pictures. So I can actually open up my camera and take a picture if I want to be able to do that. Um, I could shoot a video. It does have a little mini browser built into it, which is eh, okay. Um, it has a whole equation editor built in. So for the math teachers out there, there's a whole bunch of um, full-on scientific calculator calculations that you can do directly within your uh, uh, your you know blank document, which is pretty cool. And then you can even record audio. So if you wanted to record audio, a uh, little mini audio clips, you can do that. Uh, but let's say I wanted to insert some audio or pictures that was from my library already. I can add existing images. So if I had some screenshots or some 
um, things like that that I want to put in there, I could throw those things in here pretty simple. So um, here's a, a picture that I might want to insert. So this is a picture from the internet. Um, it starts off by opening up this picture in a little basic image editor, which is pretty cool. I can actually um, rotate the image if it's not uh, aligned the way I want. I can crop the image down before it gets applied. Um, so I can kind of control exactly how it's going to look. And once I get it looking the way I want, if I'm happy with um, what it's going to look like, I just tap done. And then now that image is in here. Now once the image is in my document, just like I said before, that hand tool allows me to tap and move things around. So I can tap on it, I can pinch and zoom with my fingers to uh, resize it, to rotate it, um, whatever I want. If I want to write on that, I simply tap with my finger um, to the pencil tool. And now that I'm back in the pencil, I'm going to use my Apple Pencil. And then I can go ahead and start pointing things out. Maybe I'll change colors here, maybe make it a little bit thicker. Um, and I really am going to kind of point out some certain things, maybe draw some arrows, right? And be able to uh, really describe and, and show everything that I got going on here uh, with an image. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that with my finger again. Um, I can not only insert images or videos into here, but I can also insert um, files. So if I go to file, there's a whole bunch of places on your iPad that it can pull files from. Um, so I can get things from photos. I just showed you that. Um, but it does allow you to take things from your iCloud Drive. Um, iCloud Drive are things that you've probably saved locally uh, on your device. So like I'd say I have... Um, anything not saved in Google, most likely, in your device. maybe I made a keynote or a pages document or something like that. But um, the other option that you're probably going to be pretty interested in is I can insert files from my Google Drive. That's what G Drive is here. The first time you do it, it's going to have you log into your Google account. Um, once you've logged into that account, it will connect to your Google Drive and allows you to take um, things from there. I can get to my shared drive uh, by going back and forth to access that. But I can simply take files that I've created uh, and be able to bring those into here. So here was a, a rubric um, that I was playing around with with somebody here. So if I say, yep, I want to insert this uh, right here into it, um, I can tap on it. So this is a, a Google Doc, for example. Um, and I can check boxes on whatever things that I want and uncheck and check uh, which things I want to add. But let's say I want this one right here, and I'm going to go ahead and tap Import in the upper right-hand corner. And when I do that, it's going to bring that document into my um, my my explaining to you document. But this page or this document actually has two pages, and so it asks me, how do I want to treat these pages? So by default, when I click on this, I get options. I can have this put things in like a grid layout, all within one page of my explain um, everything document. I could have them stacked on top of each other. They could be horizontally next to each other, vertically top and bottom, or I can have them be on separate slides, which will put um, on a multi-page document. Let's say I have a 10 page PDF or a 10 page Google doc. It'll put one um, page per page of my um, explain everything um, document, which I'll show you here in a second. So, um, so if I'm happy with that, I just tap insert and it will go ahead and insert that right in. Now, I don't see it right here right now, and that's because down here in the bottom right-hand corner, um, this shows me I actually have three different uh, pages of my Explain Everything document here. So this is, I'm working on page one. Um, if I tap on page two, that was the first page of my imported document, and then page three was the second page of that. So I can go back to page two here, and just tap on my document and this is now um, a full-on um, document that's been embedded directly into my page so so anyway so now I'm in here I could go and you know switch to my highlighter tool and you know this is a rubric so I could maybe go through and and score things um, you know digitally or uh, whatever I want to do maybe I want to switch back to my pencil tool with my finger and then go to my Apple pencil and then uh, maybe write some uh, some notes and just say, hey, this is a great job, um, and so on. So um, really cool, and again, I can simply either go use these arrows down here in the bottom right-hand corner to go back and forth, or I can tap and swipe back and forth from one page to the other um, as I do that. If I need to add more pages, kind of like what we've had in flip charts in the past, if I need to add another page, I can either hit this plus sign, and it makes just a blank white page, or if I tap on this uh, little page viewer that switches between them here, 
um, I actually have the option with this little color palette here that I can actually change the background color. Uh, there's different patterns that I can apply. I can do dots. I can do grids or lines or uh, whatever it is that you want. So you do have a few options there and you can change colors and that uh, if you want to be able to do that as well. It's entirely up to you. So um, it's a, uh, again, simple, easy way to be able to add things into a document. Now let's say I want to keep going here. Um, it does have an entire clip art gallery built in. Uh, it's got little categories of clip art. I can search through the clip art. Um, everything in here um, is, again, um, resizable. I can just tap to add. I can move things around. I can pinch. I can zoom. I can rotate, uh, move things around. And if I want to write on top of it, I just switch to a pen tool, and then I can start writing right on top of it um, just like that. So simple, easy. A um, couple other fun things uh, that it has built into it. If you've added something, let's say I switch back here and I move uh, move these elements. If I tap on one of these, I have a, a, a letter I. This is my inspector. Um, if I wanted to, if I tapped on something, uh, these shows me this. Yeah, this will show me the elements of this. So I have an apple, and then I have my writing here. I can tap on these elements separately, um, and I can ungroup when I write them on top of each other. It groups them, so I can separate those things. Uh, if I wanted to be able to do that and move those things around, I can duplicate, copy, paste. Uh, I can add something I've drawn to my clip art library, or I can simply tap the trash can to throw things away if I don't want it. So um, last option I'll show you for this is uh, you do have a little laser pointer here. That's what this little icon is. Um, this gives you the ability that if I'm on a slide, let me go back to this one here, anywhere I tap with my pencil, it will simply point things out with a laser pointer. It doesn't write on it. It doesn't add anything to it. It simply just points. So if I tap on this again, I have dots. Uh, so I can point things this way. I can switch and maybe do arrows and have it point to things this way. So you can use it, if nothing else, just to insert things into and use it as a kind of a cursor to point things out. So that is Explain Everything. Like I said, it's a really cool tool. Um, my favorite part of the entire app is everything that I'm doing uh, works really, really well. But down here at the bottom, there is a little microphone and a red button that if I tap on this red button before I start my lesson, it will actually record everything that I'm doing uh, until I tap that button again to stop. So if I am getting ready to teach a lesson for the day, I tap that red record button. I teach my lesson the way I was going to do it, using my app, or doing my writing, talking, etc. It will record my voice and everything I'm writing in there um, and saves all of that for me automatically. So when I'm done, uh, totally finished recording, I simply tap on this little share arrow and I go to export. And then this will actually prepare my video, allows me to save it as a video. I could also save it as a project and be able to share it with other people. So I could send it to other teachers that they could open it up if you want them to. Or if I just save it as a video, it gives me my share options. I can go ahead and just share it directly to photos. It will save this video right into my uh, library with all of my pictures. I could throw that into Google Classroom. I could uh, throw it on YouTube, do whatever I want with it. Um, once I've done it. That is Explain EDU. There's a lot more to it and a lot more cool things you can do, uh, but that should be enough to get you started.